Well, I'm just checking to make sure that you have a right to be here. That's well, all. I just told you I lived here. Okay. I told you that I'm working as well. Okay. So shouldn't that be enough for you? The body cam uh, video of Zade Atkinson is remarkable because we see these body cam videos all too often in our society and all too often the person who is shown in the body cam video does not survive. You belong here and if you do, then great and I'll be on my way. And in this instance, Zade Atkinson survived and is a very thoughtful person about what he experienced and how he lived moment by moment in that interaction. You can't 290, me. we're now behind 2333 23, Folsom, subject still failing to comply. By the time we get to the back of my building, that was when I realized that he had actually put his taser away, and at that point, he actually had his gun out. You know, I was trying to get through to his consciousness. I was trying to get through to his mind. I was trying to get through to his heart. I asked you several times. your intelligence. Are you going to kill me? Several times I've asked you. Yes, it is. I feel threatened gun. because you're not That's putting that down. Yes, it is. I have a, I'm picking up trash. Put it down. I I'm told you many times to put it down. And you're holding a gun. Put it down. And the and body cam video also, because there were six police officers who arrived on the scene eventually, you end up with six different camera angles in this situation. I'm John Tweedy. I'm the editor. This is not who we are. And so is this one of your properties right here? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So he is a contractor or he goes to the report or is he's, part a, of he's our student and student he, and he's he, a student work study okay yeah so he has permission to be here he has permission to be doing whatever he's doing here absolutely okay. he's picking up trash and so the ability to understand the micro dynamics of that situation was a very rich opportunity in the film This Is Not Who We Are is a documentary that explores the gap between Boulder's, uh, Boulder, Colorado's self-perception as a progressive and liberal town and compares that to the actual lived experiences of black residents here. Um, and that is done through uh, personal accounts and storytelling of multiple different interview subjects. I'm Katrina Miller. I'm one of the directors and producers of This Is Not Who We Are. There were cross burnings on Flagstaff Mountain as late as the 1940s. Well, we're all long-term Boulder County residents. We have, we have deep old roots here. We're all CU alums. And we all have feelings about, and we've raised kids here or are raising kids here. We all have feelings about what's right and wrong with our communities. I'm Barrett Strong. I'm one of the directors and producers. African-American citizenry in the 1950s was less than in 1910. Part of this was that we felt like there's a lot of history about Boulder that's not known and needs to be known, and there's a lot of lack of diversity. And even though we think we're equitable and promoting a lot of great values, actually, when we get down to talking to people, it's not true. It's not true enough. And so there's work going on to, to, to remedy things, but it's in the incipient stages in a lot of ways. The school that I used to go to in Boulder Valley School District, um, there was a person, and she started to like really, really badly bully me. She like posted a picture of me, like a video and it was like Satan's daughter was like my contact name and then the picture was like of a Satan thing. Celine, um, the young girl in our film, I, I often say that this uh, person that bullied her really awoke a giant in Celine because yeah, she has started, um, a, there was a BSA that she started at, at her middle school. Um, and she, I do bring her on to come speak at panels as a professional speaker. It's been good to see her turn this situation into something that can help other people, you know, so other people don't feel so alone or they have to remain as quiet for as long as she as she was. Um, I feel like why that part of the film is so emotional is because this shouldn't be happening to our children. I definitely feel like I could definitely like just all of a sudden be shot. <laughs> well, it's interesting too that uh, we as uh, filmmakers of different races, different ages, et cetera, get feedback from different people. And uh, I have received a lot of feedback from white viewers that uh, the film is accessible to them. 
that the film does not take a judgmental approach, uh, that the film presents the information in a way that it can speak to uh, an unspoken or unarticulated hunger that I think many white people in Boulder have, which is, well, we all believe the right things. Why isn't our community doing better? We all definitely approach this film with love, and that was something um, that we had talked about. Um, it's definitely just how we try to 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 create all of our products anyway. Um, we have all made uh, content that has to do with social justice and that has to do with um, really highlighting issues that not a lot of people know about. How's it going? This is the favorite. Oh, yeah. best. Oh, the best favorite? She's my favorite. Don't tell the rest. You're going to start a fight. She knows what I want. <laughs> I do. I had a lady walk in the other day. She was like, I was so funny. I was just listening to the song Black Magic in my car, and then I walk in and here you are. She must really love me. I didn't know how to react. Did you really just say that? Like, okay, yeah. You're listening to a song Black Magic, and then you walked in and saw what? One of the three black people here in Boulder? This film's for everybody. You know, everybody should really um, see it because I think there's something that you can uh, learn from it no matter uh, where you are. Um, and, but when, creating this film and when it was coming out, I had a very keen focus on the black community. Um, and just, just in general, definitely bolder, but beyond, how is this gonna be received? I really wanted to make sure that people felt seen, you know, major purpose for me. And after screening so many people that say, thank you, I feel seen. It feels like I've been gaslit you know, living here when I tell people things that happen and they tell me, no, that's not what you thought it was. And here, here's a film playing it all out. I want everybody I know to see this so they know it's real.